Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Today's topic is explaining the grow schedule. Plants need water and nutrients. We give them together and we call it a nutrient solution. Every time we water the plant. But before we water the plant, we have to decide how much water and how much nutrients the plant needs. Watering the plant is the most difficult job for the grower because the plants don't always grow in the same speed. Age, but also uh, the climate conditions can influence that speed of the plant. That makes watering so hard. Even when you have the same strain, the same grow conditions and the same grow location, it can still be different. For this reason, Scanna decided not to make the grow guide by days or weeks, but we decided to make them by the grow phases the plants can be in. For example, on this grow schedule, the Terra grow schedule, you can see on the first column the six different grow phases the plant can be in. The first line on the grow schedule is actually not a growing phase, but it's rewetting the substrate. Sometimes you have to rewet your substrate because you have to clean it or you have to buffer it, or sometimes you just want to add a root stimulation in it to make sure that the start of your grow goes very smooth. The second row on the grow schedule is called vegetative phase number one. In this phase, the plants are making leaf, stems and roots. After transplanting your cutting, rooted cutting or your seedling in his final substrate, this phase is starting. And as long the plant is growing, we call it vegetative phase one. For day neutral plants, also called auto flowering plants, they go automatically from phase one to phase two. You don't see the difference because the plant is growing and growing. The only difference between them is the dosing of the nutrients. But for short day plants or autumn flowering plants, then the moment when the grower decides to change the light hours from 18 back to 12 hours, that means imitating autumn, now the next step is there, we call it vegetative phase number two. So vegetative phase you can see as the month May, June, July. And in August we go to the next step, vegetative phase number two. In vegetative phase number two, the plants start to make his flowering hormone. That means the flowers will come. But you cannot see it yet. The plant is still making leaves, stems and roots. Outdoors, it's the month August. And you know when the first flower appears, you go to the next step, generative phase number one. The biggest difference between the other one is that we change in nutrients. The plant needs more potassium, for example. So we change from Cana Vega to Cana Flores. And now the flowers become bigger, the flowers become fruits, and actually it is still growing, it is still stretching, till the moment that that process stops and the growth will go more vertical. Fruits become bigger, flowers become bigger. That phase is called generative phase number two. In generative phase number two, when the flowers become bigger, they need more potassium. So we add on top of our base nutrients, Canaflorus, a PK1314. Nevertheless, watch out. It makes the plant stronger, but it's also becoming very vulnerable. If you give too much of it, the leaves can start to curl and burn. One of the reasons that we only recommend it for one week. If you grow Outside, you have to watch out because when the August, September month is very beautiful in sunshine, the plant can even burn. So dose it gently. The maximum dose is 1.5 mil 
per liter. After this phase, we go to generative phase three. The plant starts to take less nutrients. We are going to the end of the growth cycle. Outdoors, it's September. And indoors, we take the nutrient level down. We also start to flush once a week to make sure that the amount of nutrients is not too much. Nutrients are made of salt and they can give you a silty taste. For some crops, that's something you want, tomato, for example. But for cucumbers or for flowers, that's something you don't want. That's the reason why we lower the nutrients in this phase. And in the final phase, we call it generative phase number four, or the ripening phase. And in this phase, we don't give nutrients at all. Just water and maybe some additives to influence the taste of the amount of turpines of the plant. For example, basilicum, if you add still some boost till the end, you will smell the quality. The ripening phase is done by temperature. So if the plant gets too hot, your ripening goes too fast. Besides the growing phases we are mentioning in the grow schedule, we also recommend you the products and the dose of the products. If you look from the left to the right, you see exactly which product we do recommend. And nutrients, they have EC value. That means if you dose more, the EC plus goes up. Of course, water also has an EC value and water plus the EC plus from the nutrients together makes the EC total. And that EC is the EC you measure in your nutrient solution. As long you keep the numbers between the range, you make a fine, safe nutrient solution for the plants. We wish you good luck with your next growth.